Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style and you asked and I delivered. So quite a few of you in the comments have asked me to swatch Polished for Days or you've said really nice things like you wish I received Polished for Days PR samples so that I could swatch collections. I don't, but I do have quite a few of their polishes that I've accumulated over the years. And so I thought I would just swatch the ones I have to share with you. As you're going to see from the Polished for Days polishes that I am swatching, most of them unfortunately are limited edition. They're polishes that I've either purchased through the Polish Pickup, the For the Love of Polish box, or I think those are kind of it actually. But anyway, they're mostly not available anymore. So I do apologize for that, but they're so beautiful that I just wanted to show them off anyway. I know most of you are, are already Polished for Days fans, so you know what I mean when I say that Polished for Days creates beautifully complex, beautifully formulated, just perfectly executed polishes. I've never had issues with any of the polishes that I've tried and they always manage to amaze me. There's just something really special about Polished for Days and you're gonna see why if you've never seen the brand before. If you haven't already, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I post live swatch videos, and if you could like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. But enough with the talking, let's get into the swatching. So first up is one of the newer Polished for Days in my collection. This one is Sky Confetti, and it was from the January for the Love Polish box, January 2021. And this one is a pale blue base with orange to green iridescent flakes, orange to green iridescent shimmer, holographic flakes, and purple shifting chrome flakes. So this polish is beautiful. All you have to do with is look at it to see how beautiful it is. I built it up in two coats and it has an amazing formula. It's literally like six polishes in one. Depending on what angle you see it, it looks green. Like you see it here, it looks blue, it looks pink, it looks purple. So I really love this polish. I'm sad to say it is from the For the Love of Polish box, which means it's limited edition but I'm very happy to own it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, as you can see here in the sun and the different lighting, it's just a beauty. I love this polish and it makes me very happy to see it on my nails. The next polish is Fire Rainbow and this one is from the August 2020 polish pickup. So another one that's no longer available this one is a sheer pale blue base packed with orange to yellow to green shifting iridescent flakes and small scattered holographic flakes so this polish i knew when i saw the swatch photos of it that i absolutely had to have it it did not disappoint whatsoever there is one polished for days that eludes me still and it's just keep swimming which was inspired by finding nemo i love i love that movie quote and i love finding nemo and i felt like this polish could sort of be a bit of a substitute for it it's not i will still keep looking for just keep swimming because it's a darker version of this but this one is incredible i digressed but it's incredible the flakes are so shifty i don't know what magic is in these polishes but Every time I try one, I'm just blown away because the polishes are so beautiful. They're perfectly formulated and they're just so much fun to wear. Like, look at this polish. Like, look, look at it in this lighting. It looks like a different polish. So I love it and I'm very happy that I own it. And this one is Little Sea Spies from the October 2018 polish pickup. I've had this in my collection for a while. I think I've worn it once or twice now. I know my mom has worn it. This one is a teal base with pink to blue to aqua shifting iridescent flakes, pink to green shifting iridescent micro flakes, and micro holographic flakes. So this one is inspired by, I, I don't know, are they called flotsam and jetsam? I don't think that's right, but they're like those scary 
eels from The Little Mermaid. Um, I remember being terrified of them as a child when I would watch that movie. So this is inspired by them and it captures the inspiration perfectly. And this polish is so holographic. The other elements, you don't really see the flakes too much, but they're in there and they just add another level of interest and beauty to the polish. So it does work really well and it has an amazing formula. This one is opaque in two coats. So this one has long since been unavailable, but if you ever see it in a D stash, definitely pick it up. And Sky Full of Stars. So this one is currently available, so you can purchase it. It is a deep black and navy base with holographic flakes and a rose gold to silver shifting magnetic line. So as you can see, I put down one coat and you could totally wear this polish without magnetizing it, but just watch. The magic is about to happen when you apply the magnet. So I use a neodymium bar magnet and I applied it for like 30 seconds, but I fast forwarded and you can really see the rose gold come through and suddenly you've got instant galaxy nails. So this looks beautiful, magnetized or unmagnetized. It has a really good formula and my mom and I did matching manis with this at New Year's. So that's two coats and I really love this one as well. It's just, I don't know, it just makes me really happy because it is like an instant galaxy, but the, sh the line is really nice and I was able to get a nice crisp line with that magnet. So here it is in the sun. You can see just how sparkly and holographic it is. It truly is incredible. And Showstopper. So this is another For the Love of Polish box exclusive from September 2020. The box was inspired by the Great British Bake Off, which I still have not seen, but as a baker, not professionally, but I'm a hobby baker. I love baking. I needed this box. Um, so this polish is described as a deep purple base packed with orange, yellow, green, shifting iridescent flakes. And just like all of the flaky polishes that Polished for Days makes, this one is gorgeous. I think those flakes are so incredibly luminous and the formula is just amazing. So this is sort of a unique color in my collection. I don't tend to wear colors like this, but there's something really special about this one in particular. So here it is in three coats and here it is now with top coat. As you can see, those flakes really do shift through all the way to green. It's just gorgeous. And I love how squishy it looks when you put the top coat on. That's the great thing about Polished for Days. All of their polishes smooth out really nicely with top coat. And I just wanted to show it off in different lighting because what's the point of having a video if you're not going to see it in all the different lighting options? So I'm showing it off. And this one is another recent. This is also from For the Love of Polish box, February 2021. Zeus and Hera. This one is a bright, squishy pink jelly with green to orange to yellow iridescent shifting flakes and scattered holographic micro flakes. So as a pink lover, the minute I saw the whole box, I knew I needed it mostly because of this polish, but also the other two polishes were just gorgeous. I haven't worn those yet, but I'm very excited to. This one did not disappoint. It is so bright it is almost coming off neon. I don't think it's that bright, but it is a really beautiful, super saturated, squishy pink jelly. And those flakes are, I think, the same as the ones you just saw in Showstopper. I'm a huge fan of those and I'm a huge fan of this polish. I'm going to wear it all the time because I love pink. And this polish is not really a polish, it's actually their base coat. This is a tinted base coat, which is supposed to help conceal and blur your nail line while maintaining the natural look of your nail. It's meant to be used with their sheer polishes, and it just sort of helps you not need three coats. So I got this like very recently, I got it a few days ago, 
so I wanted to show it but I really wished I could have swatched something like Fire Rainbow or Showstopper with this underneath just to see. But here is the newest polish for days in my collection, Love Bug 2.0, holographic glitter base with various sizes of neon pink, light pink and white hex glitters, and pink to yellow to green iridescent shifting flakes. So this is a gorgeous topper, but I actually really was sold on it when I saw it applied over the plum taupe base. That's actually why I bought that base coat because I saw a photo of them together and was immediately sold. But I love toppers and everyone knows I love pink. So I love the combo of white and pink glitter here. It's a really fun topper and I can't wait to try it over something darker in the future. I really hope you enjoyed those swatches. In terms of my favorites, these are all in my collection, so I do genuinely love all of them, but my top favorites, because I still have top favorites out of those, are Love Bug 2.0 and Sky Confetti and also Fire Rainbow. Those are just undeniably beautiful, and I do actually really like the Soft Focus Plum Taupe uh, base coat because I do think it makes the polishes just work better overall because Polish for Days formulated the base. It does help in only needing two coats instead of three for some of the sheerer ones. So please let me know in the comments which are your favorite Polished for Days. Let me know if there's any that I should add to my collection ASAP or if there are any in your collection that are probably not available anymore but are just beautiful. I love to hear what you guys like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're well, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.